the traits, traits of a Christian. My, I'm going to be, my preaching will be mainly based on John 15 verse, John 15, 5. My first point is our connections with God. We must connect to God frequently because like any other relationship, if we don't connect frequently, we, the relationship will not be that strong. But if we do connect free, frequently, our connection will be that much stronger. So, some ways to connect are reading the Word of God, since that is like a book from heaven written by God so that we can better ourselves as Christian. Another, another way is by praying, for God will 100% of the time hear our prayers. Also, worshipping is a good way to connect with God. Because if you open your heart and worship with your full heart, God can pour the Holy Spirit into you, and uh, it will help you. When you praise God, you should be in an environment where you can pull your attention to Him. No distractions, just you and Him. My second point is doing the complete work of God. Could someone please read Proverbs twelve twenty four? This brings me to my second point, working hard for God. Lots of Christians think they have done the complete work by, of God by simply believing in Him. But, but there is more. We, have, we should be trying to spread the Word of God to everyone who does not believe in Him. Because we, the children of God, should be trying to mimic the steps of Jesus. And Je when Jesus came here, he, His main goal was to teach unbelievers of the miracles of God. So... The next time you see your friends, try to tell them about God and invite them to church. Uh, and now my third point. Giving. Can someone please read 2 Corinthians 9 verse 6 and 7? Yes, thank you. This verse means that whoever is giving something to another will also will get it back from God, but much better. And we should try to give, because, and sometimes giving is hard, because in times like these, there are bad things like COVID, so we start to become selfish. But that's what we should not do that. We should try to give as much as we can. Give to our friends, neighbors, and the people who need it. Whether it's time, money, strength, uh, give it and God will give it back to you tenfold. We must give to friends, family, and strangers because something like lending to another is likely to allow us to befriend them. Okay, my next point is being a Christian in today's world. Could someone please read Romans 16.1? No, wait, Romans one sixteen. Yeah. Okay, this is my fourth point, being a Christian in today's world. Right now, we are in a time where lots of people are scared about saying something others may not like. So lots of times people avoid saying anything at all, but we should try to say something if about God. We should try to do our very best at spreading the word of God. Like the Bible says, we were born of sin, so it is our nature, but we, so we have to try to leave it. And that's kind of hard when, uh, you, when you see everyone around you sin. So try to keep your relationship with God very strong. And he will, and keep him in your heart, and that will encourage you to keep, and that will encourage you to stay with him and to spread the word. Okay, I'm going to read John 15:5. I'm the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. 
If you do not remain in me, you are like the branch that is thrown away and withered. Such branches are picked up and thrown into the fire. What this means is all of our talents and skills could never exi have existed if we did not connect with Jesus. Anyone who is not connected with the branch will never get true peace. But if we do connect with the branch, we will get internal joy and peace. To, to connect to the branch, we must keep God happy. And to keep God happy, we must obey his commandments. Making God happy will fill us with joy. When We should try to stay connected to Jesus because any... One who is not connected to Je any branch that is not connected to the vine, being Jesus, uh, does cannot bear fruit and will not do good. So we should try to fill, fulfill every command he gives us. Thank you everyone for listening to me and I hope the words I spoke bless you. Amen.